Today, we'll talk about five different ways chemical reactions can occur. Synthesis, decomposition, single displacement, double displacement, and hydrocarbon combustion. The first type of reaction is synthesis. This is when two separate elements bond together to form a new compound. A classic example of this is when magnesium bonds with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. You can pause the video and practice writing and balancing this equation. Did you get the correct answer? Dazzling. The second type of reaction is decomposition. This is the opposite of synthesis, where a compound breaks apart into its elements or into smaller compounds. For example, when you pass current through water, the added energy will cause the bonds between the hydrogen and oxygen to break apart. Pause the video and write the balance equation for this reaction. Did you get the correct answer? Breathtaking. The third type of reaction is single displacement. This is when a compound breaks apart, and one of its ions bonds with the other element. For example, when you place sodium into water, the sodium will fall in love with the hydroxide part of the water, pushing the hydrogen out of the way. Pause the video and write the balance equation for this reaction. Did you get the correct answer? Splashing. The fourth type of reaction is double displacement. This is when two compounds swap ions with each other. Just keep in mind that in ionic compounds, metals will only bond with nonmetals. When you mix silver nitrate with sodium chloride, you produce a white precipitate and a liquid solution. Can you predict what the two compounds are? Pause the video and finish the word equation. Did you get silver chloride and sodium nitrate? Magical. Pause the video again and write the balance equation for this reaction. Did you get the correct answer? That's mutually beneficial. The fifth type of reaction covered in grade 10 is a complete hydrocarbon combustion. A hydrocarbon is a molecule that contains two different elements. Can you guess which two elements they are? That's right, hydrogen and carbon. A complete hydrocarbon combustion always results in the formation of carbon dioxide and water vapor. When you ignite a lighter, the butane reacts with the oxygen in the air to form carbon dioxide and water vapor. The formula for butane is C4H10. Pause the video and complete the balance equation for this reaction. Did you get the correct answer? Igniting. Practice is the best way to master predicting and balancing chemical reactions. Pause the video and copy down the following examples. When you're ready, we'll take up the examples together. Ready for the answers? Before we continue, some students might be wondering, how do you know that these chemical reactions are going to occur? And that's a fair question. Unfortunately, there is no straightforward answer for this. Instead, just trust that all the reactions given to you in this course are going to occur. The details of determining whether if a reaction will occur or not will be covered in senior chemistry. Taking a look at sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide, we notice that both of these are compounds, where hydrogen and sodium are the cations competing with the two anions, sulfate and hydroxide. A double displacement reaction will occur, where sodium steals the sulfate, and hydrogen, not wanting to be lonely, will take the hydroxide as a consolation prize. From here, write out the skeletal equation, and then balance the equation. Hydrogen peroxide is just hydrogen oxide, or water, with one extra oxygen. That's what the per prefix means. If left out in the sun, this dangerous liquid will break down or decompose into something that's theoretically safe to consume. Of course, I wouldn't take my chances on this, and you shouldn't either. This means that there will be a spare element floating off. Oxygen. Keeping in mind that oxygen is diatomic, finish writing the equation, and then balance it. The last example only provides the products, and you'll have to predict the reactants. Seeing that there's a compound and an element at the end, a single displacement reaction must have occurred. As metals only steal nonmetals, silver was probably together with nitrate before copper came by and ruined the fun. 
Beyond here, just make sure the chemical formulas are correct, and then balance the equation. Errors in any chemical formula may result in equations that cannot be balanced. As usual, complete your homework and check your answers with the answer key. Mastering predicting and balancing equations is a skill that takes time and a lot of practice before you become really good at it. Just as the same as it is with any of your hobbies, whether it be sports, music, or making stuff. Until our next episode.